Whereas African musical traditions are generally associated with drums and percussion instruments such as xylophone and other resonant objects, many type of strings and wind instruments are also commonly used. For example, the ngoni and kora are strings instruments well known in the West African musical traditions. The lamellophone lakembe, also called mbira, kalimba, sensa, is found almost everywhere in Africa. Many types of zitters, such as the nenga, are found in Central and East African communities. The lyre, a very ancient small harp, is also very present in Eastern Africa. There are different types of flutes, penpipes, and trumpets. The International Library of African Music and the Royal Museum for Central Africa have two of the most renowned collections of documents on African music and musical instruments. Information based on the Royal Museum for Central Africa online collection suggests that there are more than 5,000 musical instruments on the African continent. To do an estimate of the total number of these musical instruments is no easy. We asked Rob Sims, an ethnomusicologist at York University, to put the estimate in contest. There's different categories of instruments, general categories, harps, drums, lamellophones, uh, xylophones, that have hundreds, thousands of variants depending on where you go. 5,000 instruments uh, doesn't surprise me because uh, that's one criteria for counting them would be the actual names of instruments in different areas. You can have neighboring ethnic groups that will have a very similar instrument, but there'll be some slight variation on it. So it depends how you count it. If you want to be more generic and talk about xylophones or, or certain kinds of harps, certain structures of instruments, uh, I think the number would be greatly reduced. But the actual manifestations and all the variants that different local communities and ethnic groups bring to it would multiply that into the thousands easily. The Ngoni is an instrument of the lute family found in West Africa from Morocco to Nigeria. Its strings range from three to five, sometimes more. Very often it is referred to as the ancestor of the banjo. The kora, a 21-string harp built from a large calabash covered by a cow skin, is the most known African string instrument. The Kamongoni is similar to the Kora. Its strings can range from 6 to 10. The Nenga Zitter is found in Congo in the Great Lakes region and the rest of East Africa. It has 8 strings, sometimes 10. The lyres such as Nyadi from Kenya, the Kora from Ethiopia, are very present in East Africa. The Nyatiti has eight strings. The Krar has six. The instrument in this Congolese music are the Andungu and the Aviaro rattle. The Inenga and Adungu are arched harps from Uganda. The Adungu is also found in Northeastern Democratic Republic of Congo. This is a stick zitter called Mvet. The Mvet can be found in Central Africa. It has five or six strings, sometimes more or less. This Mvet is from Cameroon. The musical bow and the unistring fiddles are found everywhere on the continent. The music is with Umuduri, musical bow from Rwanda. The music is from Indin Injiti, fiddle also from Rwanda. Different types of wind instrument, flutes, panpipes, trumpets, horns and other instruments can be estimated up to more than 1,000 on the African continent. The music from Uganda with Nderi flute, drums and bells. This is a Gaita Abo from Morocco. Music is with Ama Kondera, trumpets and drums from Rwanda. The drums are certainly the most popular musical instruments on the African continent. There are more than 1400 different kind of drums. The most known of them is a djembe, 
the West African goblet drum. It is a single skin drum carved in wood. The Darabuka is another goblet drum found in Morocco and the rest of North Africa. Its body is made of ceramic. Walngoma is a common name for drum in many Central and Southern Africa languages. Generally speaking, the typical ngoma is a double skin drum with both ends linked with lace leather straps. Usually the top is broader than the bottom. This is the bara, the calabash drum from Burkina Faso and Mali. This is the udu from Nigeria. The udu is entirely made of ceramic. The kayamba is a mat of rough rattle used to accompany songs and dances in Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, and all over the eastern coast. <laughs> There are patterns and these are historically related. For example, in East Africa is one of the only places in the world where you have preserved all of the great harps from the ancient world, from Mesopotamia and Egypt. We have lots of iconographic evidence, visual evidence, illustrations of people playing harps that were very important in the court music of these ancient cultures. And uh, they have since disappeared in Mesopotamia, for example, but it was retained in East Africa. And um, that's, that's very interesting. We have harps in West Africa, but not the same prevalence of the bow harps and um, the lyres that we see in quite dense numbers in, in East Africa. So that's one pattern. Uh, I think we have a pattern of lutes, like you're mentioning the Ngoni. That, that probably came from East to West through West Asia. So these are very ancient instruments that have been dispersed and uh, that lute the, that, that has, is the Ngoni, or it, you go to Mauritania, the Tidnit, it's basically the same structure of instrument, but uh, that thing has gone into West Asia and Central Asia all over the place. That dispersal probably came from West Asia and then made its way through, through Africa. Uh, other things like xylophones, some people believe there's some connection with, uh, with Southeast Asia. With Indonesia, but there's definitely an indigenous uh, African xylophone tradition. So I think it shows the um, the spread of uh, of human culture, and the patterns reflect trade routes, reflect certain migrations of peoples. We tend to em emphasize the stereotype of African drumming. Of course, there's fantastic, fabulous drumming traditions that you find music. There's no comparison to anything else in terms of sophistication of rhythm. Uh, very unique contribution with, with, with uh, African poly meters and, and, and ensembles, uh, percussion ensembles. But there's flutes, there's, there's fiddles, there's all kinds of um, uh, melodic instruments, harps, that are prevalent as well. We just don't pay attention to those as much, but I think they're there. So that's, that's a matter of choice, I think. That's a matter of mm, stereotype. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> <laughs>